Hey guys, it's Wasif, Pharmacy Dad. Just wanted to talk to you about some tips that you can use to help make sure that your immune system is nice and healthy, not only just for yourself, for your loved ones, also for your kids who might be going to school. This is especially important for your kids because if they're going to school, they're getting potentially exposed to a lot of infectious agents just because of the outbreaks. We've seen an increase in respiratory infections as it relates to RSV, flu, as well as COVID. So none of these uh, suggestions by themselves are necessarily foolproof, but we wanna give yourself as well as your loved ones the best chance in fighting off uh, any infections that they may get exposed to. So um, the number one uh, suggestion here is to eat a well-balanced diet, something similarly to the Mediterranean diet where you're getting lots of veggies, which are, uh, which are um, chock full of antioxidants that help fuel the immune system. Also as well, um, in regards to their meats, if they can eat more, if you and your loved ones can eat more fish, um, omega threes have been shown to also help boost the immune system as well. And it's also important to keep well hydrated. If you're well hydrated, this is going to go a long way in just making sure your mucosal linings are nice and healthy, and this is going to help to prevent any potential um, invasion by bacteria or viruses, and helps to basically fight that off. You'd want to consider um, looking at your vitamin D intake. Uh, you know, it's called a sunshine vitamin. It's called a sunshine vitamin because we make vitamin D naturally as we're exposed to sunshine. But, you know, if you live where I live in Edmonton, you'll know in the winter months we don't get much sunshine. It's 6 p.m. right now. I'm looking out my window and it looks like midnight. So it's kind of sad, but it, we make it make up for it in the summer. But in the winter, we might need to supplement if we're not getting enough from our diet. Now, for kids, they can, you know, if they're drinking a lot of milk, their milk is fortified. So you might want to just consult with your pediatrician or as well as um, uh, or your pharmacist just to see what an appropriate amount of vitamin D would be for them. For adults, you know, anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 is usually recommended, usually 1,000. Uh, nothing more than 4,000 international units is recommended because uh, too much vitamin D can leave you open and getting potentially gallstones. Um, vitamin D plays a key role in just keeping our immune system nice and healthy. That's why during COVID, there were so many recommendations to make sure that your vitamin D levels are topped off in order to fight off any potential COVID infections. You can also look at echinacea. So echinacea is a horrible product that comes from a flower. And, and you know, they've, it's been studied extensively. It hasn't been shown to um, necessarily decrease the duration of a cold when, when used to fight off an infection, but it has been shown that if you are using it regularly and daily, that, you know, your immune system will be healthy and it will be more likely to fight off any potential infection. It just won't be able to like fight off the common cold. You can't, basically you can't use it. Uh, um, you can use it as a preventative, but not so much as a treatment. A vitamin that can help with just making sure that your immune system is also healthy is vitamin C. So vitamin C, you're probably well aware of it. Um, it's been used for a while in Western culture to kind of help off fight the common cold. Again, it's not something that can necessarily, sh that should be necessarily used in regards to treatment, but it can be used something that um, is used in prevention. They had some studies and they, the studies showed that, you know, people who were getting a regular amount of vitamin C were more likely to uh, less likely to have their infection uh, develop into something with more severe complications such as uh, pneumonia. So in terms of a source of vitamin C, I mean, you can supplement it, but of course your best source of vitamin C is going to be fruits, uh, especially, you know, the citrus fruits like limes, tomatoes, uh, lemons. Lemons are especially good because they have a high dose of vitamin C without all that sugar. And then you know, regardless of what fruit you're taking, you're also going to get a lot of fiber and other antioxidants. So for that reason, it's important to, if you can, to get it from fruit. But if for some reason that's not possible, of course, you can also supplement it with it separately. Another thing to look at is honey. So honey is something that has antimicrobial properties. 
Uh, again, like a lot of research has not necessarily been done in the food and supplemental space, but it, it has been shown that honey can boost the immune system. Also as well, it uh, uh, acts as a cough suppressant as well. So you can use honey um, when you have a cough to kind of help calm it down. That's why you'll often see the combination of honey and lemon in water because, you know, with the lemon, you're you're kind of giving that extra boost to your body in regards to your immune system. And the honey also helps to boost the immune system, but is also helping to kind of calm down the cough. Now for honey, it's only indicated for ages one and up. It's safe to use, but only for ages one and up. Less than one years of age, you kind of open yourself up to potentially giving the child botulism. So only ages one and up. So these are just some uh, suggestions in regards to uh, foods and supplementation that can help in regards to keeping your immune system nice and healthy to fight off any potential infection. Of course, by itself, uh, you know, this is just one aspect of what you can do to keep your immune system healthy. The, you know, um, just to recap, we, we're talking about diet, we're talking about keeping well hydrated. If you exercise regularly, that's going to boost your immune system. And, uh, you know, you want to make sure you're getting plenty of rest. A full night's rest goes a long way. And also uh, making sure that you can fight off any potential infections. So there's a lot of things that goes on to keeping your immune system nice and healthy. But, uh, you know, if you kind of take a holistic approach uh, to things, you're going to give yourself a best chance to make sure that uh, you and your loved ones stay safe. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.